to go out and not try to prove anybody wrong, but just let your talents speak for themselves. Welcome in, Rob Parker. How are you? Good, Carrie. How are you? I'm doing well. You Thank look you. absolutely gorgeous today. Thank you. You guys, you guys have the matching shirt. Thank you. Dress, right? is, this, is that what we're doing? You're coordinating? Will you Can stop? Really? Really? Show? Every time it's something with you. Topic at hand. <laughs> um, disgusting. Serious topic, though, folks. Seriously. Uh, what does this say about RG3? <clears throat> this is this is an interesting topic, but, but for me, personally, just me, mm -hmm. I have, I, this throws up a red flag, what I keep hearing, and I don't know who's asking the questions, but we've heard a couple of times now of a black guy kind of distancing himself away from black people. Okay. I understand the whole uh, story of, I just want to be the best. Nobody's out on the field saying to themselves, I want to be the best black quarterback. You're just playing football, right? You just want to be the best. You want to throw the most touchdowns and... And, and have the most yards and win the most games. Nobody is doing that. But time and time we've kept, we keep hearing this, so it just makes me wonder deeper about him. And I talked to some people down in Washington, D.C., and my, my question, For honest, friends of, yours, right? friends of mine, okay. right, who are around in and, and some of the press conferences, people I've known for a long time. But my question, which is just a straight, honest question, is he a brother or is he a cornball brother? Which what means? does that mean? Yeah, explain that. Well, he, he's <laughs> not really, okay, he's black, he kind of does the thing, but he's not really down with the cause. He's not one of us. He's kind of black, he's in the book, but he's not really, like, the guy you really want to hang out with because he's off to something else. Why is that your question? Well, because that's just how I, I want to find out about him. I don't, I don't know because I keep hearing these things. We all know he has a white fiancé, and there was all this talk about he's Republican, which I, there's no... There's no information at all i'm just trying to dig deeper into why he has an issue because we did find out with tiger woods tiger woods was like i don't want to don't, i got black skin but don't call me black so people got a little wondered about tiger woods early what, on about him what do rg3's braids say to you now that's different because to me that's very urban mm -hmm. and makes you feel like i think he would have a clean cut if he was more straight lace or not, like uh, wearing braids is your your brother, your brother. Okay. If you got braids on. Uh, Stephen A, what's your take on this? Well, first of all, <clears throat> let me say this: I'm uncomfortable uh, with where we just went. RG3, the ethnicity, the color of his fiance. Is none of our business. It's irrelevant. He can live his life any way he chooses. Uh, the braids that he has in his hair, that's his business. That's his life. He can live their life. I, I, I mean, I don't judge someone's blackness based on those kind of things. I just don't do that. I, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, what I would say to you is that the comments that he made are fairly predictable. I think it's something that he may feel, but it's also a concerted effort to compete, to appease the masses to some degree, which I'm finding relatively irritating because I don't believe that the, 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 the black athlete uh, has any responsibility whatsoever to have to do such things. Let me say this clearly. There is absolutely, I don't know of anybody who goes into something trying to be the best black anything. But so we understand that that's a given. But I do think it's important to acknowledge a level of pride and a level and, and, and a feeling of a level of accomplishment for being somebody who happens to be of African American American descent, who competes and achieves and accomplishes things on the highest level, while also bringing attention to some degree anyway, to the proud and the proudness and pride that they feel being black because they're allowing themselves to be a reminder to those who preceded them, who worked so hard, accomplished and achieved so much, but were denied the accolades that that individual is receiving just because of the shared ethnicity that they had. When you talk about the barbershop, like, what do you, what is your reaction to it? Like, what is your first, like, what side do you put them on?